This week, in conjunction with the Make-A-Wish Foundation, ESPN is turning sports wishes into reality for five kids battling serious illness as part of our series, My Wish. A genetic kidney disorder devastated his mother's side of the family. Now this teenager faces the same medical crisis. His wish? To race go-karts with his favorite NASCAR driver. What he got? A whole lot more. Fifteen-year-old Jeffrey Bazell of Herman, Maine, loves to spend hours with his father working on cars and trucks, whether they're putting them together. It's the best way to fix them, get in there. Or taking them apart. I work. There you go. By the time you're done, is there like a huge pile of stuff right there? Oh, yeah. Bunch of buckets full. And then the rest of it is just like on the trail, this big, this like monster pile of what just happened to that car? What's happening to Jeffrey, however, is far more difficult to fix. Jeffrey has Alport syndrome, a genetic disease that ravages his kidneys. Right now, they're, I think, like 18%, like, functional. And by the end of next February, they'll be about 10%, which means I need to get a kidney transplant within the next year. What happens if you don't get a kidney transplant in the next year? They're just going to go down from there and under 10% and when I going to have troubles with... He just gets tired a lot and his energy's really low. You know, I like to see him bouncing around, you know, 15 years old, he should be running around. Both of Jeffrey's parents have been ruled out as potential kidney donors. For his mother, Ruth, these days are familiar and agonizing. Alport syndrome claimed the life of her brother when he was 15. Now it is her son's turn to battle this disease. When I found out that he would have to do it, I just cried, <laughs> you know. but. We have a strong family and we'll get through it. We'll be fine. Your mother's brother was the same age you are right now when he died. How does that make you feel? It just makes me think what's going to happen to me. Because I don't know if I'm going to end up the same way or not. Do you worry about that a lot? Mm-hmm. On a Saturday afternoon in May, the family heads to a local go-kart track where Jeffrey thinks he's being followed for a story on young sports fans battling illness. He has no idea what a huge surprise awaits him until on the safety video he's watching, up pops Jeffrey's favorite NASCAR driver. Hey Jeffrey, I'm Dylan Hart Jr. I've heard you're a big race fan and it looks like you guys are all set up for some good times at the go-kart track today. I see Junior's face and mine just drops. If you want to see how we do racing in the South, I'd love for you and your family to come spend some time with me at my place in North Carolina. We'll race some go-karts, and the ones down here, they're pretty fast. Looking forward to meeting you, man. See you soon. <laughs> and then I see like 30 people behind me with cameras, and I'm like, oh, boy. <laughs> A few days later, Jeffrey and his family are brought to Dale Jr.'s Dirty Mo Acres Ranch just outside Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, <laughs> How you doing? Hi. Nice to meet you, finally. You doing all right? I think. Yeah. <laughs> Jeffrey hops into Jr.'s car for a personal tour of the property, including the go-kart truck, where he'll take on not one, but two NASCAR drivers. This is Brad. Keselowski. What's up, bud? Nice to meet you. Good to see you. Junior has some instructions for Jeffrey, strictly driver to driver. The curbs on the inside are a little banked. Okay. Like the, the you know, opposite way, 
And getting on them yeah. is gonna slow you down pretty bad. You ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'll get you started. Hop in. Oh. He's got some tough competition though. No, uh, he ain't. I, it ain't just me. He's got a race. He's got Keselowski. We want to get our butts kicked, so we're gonna be racing hard. The five lap race is on, and Jeffrey's out in front, ahead of his dad, and two top NASCAR drivers. It's down to the wire, but Jeffrey beats Junior by a nose. Good job, bud. After a hard-fought race, Junior takes Jeffrey and his family to Junior Motorsports for a tour of the team garage. I could like live in this garage. For car-savvy guys like Jeffrey and his dad, this is as good as it gets. A round of pizza and some friendly conversation ends a breathtaking wish for Jeffrey. Or does it? While you're in town, uh, why don't you come on to the All-Star Race? Come out and watch us run. Saturday. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's race day, and Jeffrey meets Junior's crew chief, Lance McGrew, who puts him in Junior's car. What do you think? Want to hop in? Sure. I think it fits you better than him. <laughs> We're going to make you an honorary crew member tonight. And good thing about it, you're going to get introduced in front of the crowd with Dale and ride around the truck with us. <laughs> <laughs> Backstage before the driver introductions, Jeffrey is swarmed with warm greetings from the biggest names in NASCAR. Jimmy Johnson. Ready for some racing? Yeah. Good. Kevin Harvin. How you doing? Hi. Even the king. Richard Petty. Where are you from, man? Maine. Oh, all right. With more than 100,000 screaming fans packing the stands for this all-star race introduction, Junior and Jeffrey hit the stage at last. Dale Earnhardt Jr. An unforgettable moment in the spotlight for a young man ready to face the challenges of his immediate future. And the opportunities to come. It's good to have Jeff here. We're gonna win this thing for Jeff. Win on three. One, two, three, win! The search continues for a kidney donor for Jeffrey. When asked what keeps him so strong, Jeffrey says, my family, they're always giving me hope. You can read more about Jeffrey's wish and the thoughts of his mother, Ruth, at ESPN.com. Just search the words, my wish.